This is Sadie from Zero Waste Chattanooga. Here is the trash that my family of four created for the month of um, November 2018. And it is a lot more than normal. And the reason for that is last month I wrote a blog post reflecting on what it was like to have done a full year of Zero Waste. And then looking around my house, and especially in our freezer, I realized, oh my goodness, there are these things that have been around, that means, for an entire year. So all of these freezer bags of goods, those were purchased before we went zero waste, which was over a year ago. So I've been like, okay, we've got to eat this stuff. So I've been, and there's still more in there, um, and I've been working through it. Another thing was children's art supplies. Um, there's a lot of stuff in, like, art supplies that I just haven't been using because I didn't feel like using the plastic, and now I've been like, okay. We just need to use it up. We already bought it. I bought it before I knew that it was bad. Um, we might as well just use it. So these little foam stickers. Um, my husband told me I was banned from ever buying them again, even if we weren't into zero waste, because now they are all over our house, and it's kind of a headache. Um, same thing with those glitter gel pens. Um, they're kind of terrible. But we have them, and our daughter does enjoy using them, so we're going to use them up. Same thing for the OxyClean and the children's multivitamins. Um... And then um, the, the basil, the spice jar, which we either buy spices in bulk or for basil, our solution, let's see, I'll show you this. There's our basil tree. So we are growing our own basil and just are drying some of the leaves instead. Um, so some of the things that were new for this month were, you can see the pile of candy wrappers. That's from Halloween. I tried to limit the amount of candy my kids got, um, but that was hard to do. Um, one lesson learned there is that there's lots of candy in the bulk bins, and what I wish I had done was filled a mason jar full of candy and brought that along with me to events and told my kids, like, hey, look, you can eat this candy, and that way you can say no to the plastic-wrapped candy. So, a lesson for next year. Um, also new for the month is some packaging. We ordered some used books as Christmas presents, um, and so I'm glad I got used books because that saves the trees, but they still came wrapped in plastic. So it would have been better if I had gone to, like, McKay, or another local bookstore to, got, to get the books instead of ordering them online. I want to point out the slinky and the little whistle and um, whatever this is. Um, they're just good examples of how it seems like people always want to give children cheap little toys, like little pieces of plastic. And it really, if you have children that you are involved with in any way and you're thinking about getting them a gift, really consider not getting something that's cheap and small. Um, it really doesn't add to the... Um, the benefit of the child's life because they get attached to a toy and then it breaks really easy. I can't tell you how many times I've had to untangle that silly little slinky there. And um, and then at the end of the life or when the child gets tired of it or it finally does break, it ends up in the trash. So one huge thing that we've done going zero waste that's made a huge impact is really consider all purchases before we make them. Um, and consider when I'm done with this, object, whatever it is, what am I going to do with it? Can it be taken apart and recycled? Um, is it a long-lasting thing, like a toy that maybe when your child is, it's no longer developmentally appropriate for them, it'll still be in good use and can be donated to another child? Um, and consider those things when you're getting a gift for somebody, or especially for a child. Um, a lot of times the cheap, like, little toys that just break really easy, you're not really doing the kid a big favor by giving it to them. Even though they're excited right when they receive it, in the long term, it's better not to. So that's it. That's our trash. If you have any comments, um, please put them down below. Get Like the video and consider going to my website, zerowastechattanooga.com, um, to learn more. I'll have a whole post about this pile of trash um, with even more information in it.